Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kamein. I'm a software developer with Saber Travel Network. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a tile widget red app. A tile widget is a small tile that appears in inline shopping responses. This is available in air, shopping, and air availability, as well as price quotes. Let me show you how to build this project. I'm signed in to Saber Red. I'm going to go to the command helper and search for air shopping. Saber Red is going to look for results and present a visual output for me. In each of the shopping responses, there is a jar that the user can select the drop down. This is going to be our project. The tile is going to represent what the agent sees at first sight. When the agent clicks on the tile, a model pop-up will be presented with a slider. The slider will represent the loyalty points and the price associated to the flight selected by the agent. Our first step in Eclipse is to create a new plugin project, an empty plugin project, by going to File, New, Plugin Project. Our name is going to be Panel Widget Example. Select Next. Next again, and uncheck the option Create a Plugin using one of the templates. Once we have our skeleton project, inside my project, I'm going to create a folder named web-src. I'm then going to go to this folder via the CMD in Windows. And I'm going to type the following command, and this is a command from concierge. If you have doubts on how to install the concierge tool, please check our installation video. The command is ngv space init. I will be asked for the project name. This should be the reverse URL convention used by Java, but with dashes instead of dots. I'm going to select com. com-saber.panel widget example is going to be my project name. The author, my name, please enter all entries in lower caps. This will then create some TypeScript code that can get me started building my panel widget app. Once our TypeScript code is created by the ngv init command, we'll refresh our project and the following folder structure has been created. The folder src code is going to contain our TypeScript code. Our TypeScript code will be initiated in the class main.ts. Our next step is to link our TypeScript code to our plugin project, and this is done with an extension point. Please go to manifest.mf extensions and add the following extension com.saber.edge.dynamo.web.module the configuration created for you will have a sub element the id of this element needs to be the same name that was chosen in the ngv init command Once we are done with these steps, we can now take our project to visual code since the rest of the project will be done in TypeScript code. Our first step in Visual Studio code will be to open the terminal inside our project and build our project for the first time. This is done by the following command, ngb space build. This might take 
a minute or two. Once our project is done building, you will see that I've successfully imported the module class from one of the APIs available in TypeScript by the SDK, and I can start my coding. Our project will contain the following code. A JavaScript object that is going to give us the characteristics of the tile, the buttons to show, and the title. A drawer config object, which was, will allow us to draw a tile, a model pop-up associated to the tile, and the options described above. Our last step would be to say to the drawer service, defined here, to add the configuration created above. We will use this tag to indicate that this is going to be shown in a shopping response. I'm adding the configuration to the shopping response with my drawer config object created above. The drawer config object has a tile class and a model class, which are defined under views. Our tile class is going to contain the options that the user will first see when they see the tile, such as the footer and the title. Our model pop-up is going to ex extend from abstract view. Keep in mind that you have the option to receive a flight segment object with the information about the flight selected by the agent. Please review the sample if you have any questions. Our last part will be to build our project one more time when we're done with the code with the same command done previously, ngb space build. Once our project is done building, we will go back to Eclipse. Under our web-src folder, we will have a prod folder. This folder is our compiled code. Our next step would be to copy these files and create a new folder named web with a subfolder that has the same name as chosen before in the ngv init command. Inside this subfolder, copy the contents of the prod folder. This is your final result. This is what Saber Red is going to look for when displaying your TypeScript project inside the Saber Red results screen. So this has been creating a panel widget Red App. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time.